One of the best parts of Delmarva Life is getting to know the talented people who call Delmarva home. One of them is Brad Hudson of Mardella Springs. Now, Brad's a licensed Star Wars artist. He's, his work is used for Star Wars marketing, but it doesn't stop there. He also does work for Marvel, Tops and Upper Deck. And soon, you'll be able to see all of his art in one place. Brad joins us via Zoom this afternoon because, well, there's a whole lot more going on. And it looks like you could tell from your studio. Hi, Brad. Hey there, how are you? I am doing great. So for those who are not familiar with your work, how do you describe it? I teach sequential art at UMES, but I, uh, so I do cartooning, comic book illustration, but I also do standalone illustrations as well. And so, you know, what I do for tops is, uh, they're called sketch cards. Um, and those are like one-off rare collectibles that will be inserted in packs of cards. You've done a lot of work with Star Wars, which is, to me is mind-blowing. What has that been like? It's, it's very cool. I'm a big Star Wars fan anyway, so um, it's a lot of fun. You know, some of them are based on just one singular movie. Some of them based on uh, groups of movies or... Uh, you know, even including some of the animated uh, TV series or maybe even some of the video games. So it just depends on the project, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's usually very quick turnaround, so I have to work fast. Yeah, sure. So what do you have coming up uh, as far as projects? So right now I'm working on, I'm finishing up a uh, series of cards called uh, Jedi Holocron. Um, they should be coming out probably in the fall. Um, uh, that's based loosely on some of the ideas that were introduced in the last movie. But the, uh, the project is, gives me the ability to work on any of the licensed, current licensed projects for Star Wars. So I can do all of the films, all of the animated shows, uh, and even some of the licensed video games since Disney purchased it. So it's, it's kind of a wider, broader range than I've had recently. Uh, also, very excited we get to work on The Mandalorian. I'm also finishing up a KISS set for Dynamite Comics. Um, and then I have a X-Men set coming up uh, as well for Upper Deck. So when you're getting ready to do these projects, do you go back and watch uh, some of the movies and, and to get some inspiration? I do sometimes. Um, I use a lot of uh, screen grabs and things that I find online also as reference. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I, I know the films pretty well. The animated shows, I've watched bits and pieces of. So those uh, I'm not as familiar with. So sometimes if, I, if, I'm, if I'm doing those, it takes a little more research and a little more referencing. So, um, yeah, but it, it, there's different ways that I try to get myself motivated. Um, sometimes I'll just listen to some of the soundtracks and things like that while I'm working, so it gets me in the mood. Oh. Now, I understand you're doing something with a local brewery. Yeah, so uh, I have an upcoming show at uh, the Main Street Gallery in Cambridge, um, and uh, they're right next to, well, not right next to, but just down the street from RAR. And RAR, they're, they're big geeks over at RAR. They're big into pop culture. Uh, in fandom, and so um, the Main Street Gallery thought it would be interesting if we reached out to them and saw if uh, we could do like a collaboration. And so I'm going to be doing um, some sort of limited release with them where I'll be probably doing like a, a label for a limit, limited release beer or something like that that will be specific for my, uh, at, at the timing of my show. And when, and is that, when does that show? So it starts uh, early September and ends in uh, the end of October sometime. Uh, the opening should be tentatively scheduled for the 12th. Um, uh, again, with the current situation with COVID, we're not certain what the uh, situation will be like at the time, if we can have a uh, real life, uh, in-person live uh, art opening at the gallery. So we're tentatively scheduling that for September 12th. 
Um, but we're, we're not, you know, everything's uncertain at this point. Sure, sure. Well, I'm sure you'll keep us up to date and we'll keep our viewers up to date as well. Brad Hudson, artist, thank you so much for, for joining us this afternoon and good luck with all this work you got going on. Thank you. Have a, a nice <laughs> talking to you guys.